What is going on guys, it's Yoji. A lot of people want to know how I leveled my summoner build that you can see in the background here. Um, to the point where it is right now, which is level 83. And what I used for leveling, um, how it felt while leveling, if I did summoner leveling or spellcaster leveling. And yeah, basically how I got to the point where this build just destroys content. This build just, as soon as I swapped to full the full build, the full summoner, this build just started destroying even more. But you know what the fun part is? Before that, it destroyed content as well. There was no no point in leveling this spec that we did have any problems with anything in its way. I destroyed all the bosses while leveling from normal, cruel and merciless. Everything just died super fast. I had n probably the smoothest leveling experience with any build ever. And that's why I wanted to share with you what I did to get this character to maps. So here we are now with the character. So first what I started out with, I took a life sprig. You can also take two life sprigs if you want more damage. And I uh, got a spark and a fire trap to wrap an act one. And then act two I linked it with controlled, controlled destruction. For passives at that point I went through the spell damage and into the cast speed uh, up until this point. Normally you would take the spell damage as a caster, but I took the cast speed because I was no, I already knew I was going to be SRS later. So I went up in here, took up this minion damage, picked up some life and mana, picked up some life here. I took this mana way later. And once I got this life, I was uh, and I just started pathing down here and picked up this dex node because this build is really stuff for dex. So dex is always nice to have. You can also use a uh, jade amulet just with a ton of dex, some life, and you should be good to go to level all your dex gems. At that point, I started uh, switching to Reverberation Rod, which needs level 24. And as soon as you switch to Reverb Rot, you can use Summon Raging Spirits, Minion Damage, and Melee Splash for your AoE clear. And you can stop using another Life Sprig and just add a shield in here for some extra defense. So once I got that done, um, I started specking more and more into Minion Nodes. You can start picking up this Minion Damage right here. Some Minion, uh, minion Damage Nodes up here. And you can also make, make your way down here. That's what I did. And of course there's an ambulance in this video. Um... There's potency of will around here, which you can pick up, which is really nice for skill effect duration, makes your SRS last longer, uh, and so we can have more of them up at the, at the same time. That's that's really nice for bosses. And you can go up here and pick up um, even more minion damage. There's enough life to grab here. You can also path down here, grab some life. Here's more minion damage. That's kind of what I picked up until that uh, while I was leveling as SRS. Now, at around level 53, um, you want to arrive at Necromantic Aegis. And to get there, you will, of course, path, path through here, get down all the way here, and pick up Necromantic Aegis. Also, Harry has a really nice node. Move speed and cast speed is something this build really benefits from. So, yeah, Necromantic Aegis is what you pick up next. And at that point, you can uh, switch to a Joffrey's Crest, which needs level 53. And that's where you then put up, uh, put in your SRS setup, and you add Spell Echo to it, because the Rework Rod gave you that for free. Now you don't get it anymore. You still get the plus one to Socketed Gems, which is really nice. Um, you can then switch out your weapon for, for example, an Aurum Vorex. Uh, this should make rest capping super easy. And the shield you will be using with Necromantic Aegis, that now does not apply to you, but your minions, uh, will be Victarious Charity. And Victarious Charity uh, makes it so that your minions uh, grant power charges to allies on kill, and grant frenzy charges to allies on hit. That means all your minions, minions will have a ton of char charges all the time. It also gives them some nice res resistances, which helps out a lot. So yeah, at that point you just level as SRS, continue leveling as SRS. You can also start using uh, Essence Worm, two of those. Those are like fairly expensive, so if you can't afford two of them or you can only afford one or no, none of them, you can also run just, just run Haste. But ideally you want to run Haste in one of them and Anger in, in the other one. And Haste is, by the way, is what you need all that freaking dex for, because that aura right now needs 146 dexterity for me. And I'm a witch, I don't get much dex, so that's that's a kind, kind of a problem, but that works pretty well. And, and once you switch to this setup, the, the build gets even more powerful. Up until that point, um, it, it is already crazy. Like, you can do Cruel Merciless before you do this, uh, but you can also switch, uh, make the switch after Cruel, uh, uh, Cruel Merciless. Cruel Labyrinth, uh, you can also make the switch after Cruel Labyrinth, it's, it's pretty damn crazy. Um, for Ascendancies, uh, in normal, I picked up Mistress of Sacrifice. This is just really great for SRS, as you can use Flash Offering. And that allows you to gain a lot of move and cast speed, and your minions as well. And also, both of these nodes have minion damage and skill effect duration, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, in Cruel, I unspecced out of this, and specced into Flash Binder and Soul Weaver, because I, then I started at some point started using Spectres and Zombies instead of uh, only SRS, but I was still using SRS on top of it. But you can also just use 
uh, Flash Binder and Mistress, uh, Mistress of Sacrifice. Just make sure once you complete the Merciless Labyrinth, you have all of these. In the Uber Lab, I will probably pick up this and add like a level 1 clarity to my setup just to gain an additional aura. This will make grass capping very easy as well. But for yeah, for until Merciless Labyrinth, make sure you get these notes that I have. This will make the build super powerful. Um, other nice notes to pick up is leadership for the aura radius. Also get, get quality on auras if you can, because that will make it so that your auras have more radius and actually affect your minions. And once you are at the, uh, at this point where you have like all the all the different setups going, you can unspec out of all of this because you don't really want that spell damage and save a few notes. Go here and pick up whatever you need: more life, more other things, more zombies. Whatever you want. And yeah, that's basically how I got this, this build to maps. And it was, yeah, as I said, the easiest leveling experience I had so far. It's, it's pretty damn crazy how, how well this this level, just with SRS leveling and then switching to Victorious Charity and using these few uniques, which most of them just cost the chaos. This costs like four chaos. And as I said, these, these two rings, they cost like 25 chaos each, which is pretty expensive. Especially for leveling items, but you don't have to use them. And these rings make it so you can switch to Mind Over Matter fairly early, which is a nice defensive boost, so you don't have to worry too much about life. So, yeah, that's basically it for leveling this build and getting it to maps. I'll make a, a build spotlight or a full guide, depending on how well the build turns out. And so far, it turns out pretty well. Um, on, yeah, on one of my next videos. Until then, I'm Yoji, and I will see you soon.